Hello and welcome to an EROC Tenor 3 minute tutorial. Today from the lab we examine one of my favorites, Takeshi's Hover Engine mod. First, a look at the engines. There are two different engines in two different sizes, armored and unarmored. Both come in small and large grid, military and civilian. Military grade engines are more powerful and are harder to destroy, civilian cost fewer components. Both come in 1x1 and 3x3. The PCU for all of them is 75 regardless of grid or size, but really they aren't that component heavy to build. For each of them, the armor difference in resources is just in steel plates. Anywhere from 4 on the small grid and smaller engine side to a couple hundred on the large grid 3x3 sizes. More for the military than for civilian engines. Let's start by installing 1x1s on a small grid ship. This one has two atmospheric thrusters pointed in each direction, one battery, and a gyroscope. Be sure to build more than one engine mirrored along the central axis. Also, where you put them along the bottom of the ship matters. Too far forward and too far back lead to a variety of unbalanced effects. You also need to ensure you don't build too few or too many. I like to start trying to find the minimum amount and go up from there in twos. Now on a large grid ship, all the same principles apply. You gain a little weight and lose a little mobility as you may expect, but otherwise the same. I'll let you play with the three by threes. All the same principles apply there as well. In the K menu, the main things you will adjust are minimum altitude. You get zero to 10 meters for small grid engines and zero to 30 meters on large. Altitude range. Turning this up means the faster you go, the more it gets added to your minimum altitude. Altitude regulation distance. This works kind of like the pressure on a spring. The higher the setting, the tighter and less flexible the spring, and vice versa. And color. Using RGB values like you would anywhere else. FYI, these all work with the legendary Build Vision mod, which I highly recommend. To gauge the balance, your ship should 1. Be still at rest, and 2. When you push the spacebar to max height, after releasing, your ship should start to sink slowly and parallel to the ground. If it's too heavy, add more engines, and if you need more energy, check the battery indicator, then add more batteries and or reactors. And those are the basics! Thank you for joining us in the lab. Please comment below with any questions about this mod and let us know if there are other mods you would like us to make tutorials for. And please like, subscribe, and hit that alert button to stay tuned for more from Erock Tenor and the lab. Bye for now and happy modding.